Welcome. What's up guys? Are we getting ready to ride at the beginning? Good lord have mercy. Corey! <sighs> guys, get in position. Rally Ux, Nick, Stashley, Missy Moo Moo, Madros. I'm under enemy fire. Chain Mergy. Secure the perimeter. Smith, hey! Someone's in, someone's in! Nick Skywalker! Kalestorm Missile Dine, oh my gosh, love you dude. I never get to raid him, he's always never streaming when I end. What's up dude? Thank you so much for that freaking raid, Dime93. Chef Michael Moses. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Black Dragon. Thank you so much, Missile Dime Online, Kelstrom. Good Lord, have mercy. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. How's everyone doing, Kelstrom? Thanks for the subs and those. I just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. And remember, you only get one life to live, y'all. Lilu Burt as well. Thank y'all so much for the subs, y'all. Lilu Burt and anyone else that just did. And remember, guys, you only get one life to live, y'all. Live it to the max. Dime93, I think I said your name as well. Welcome to the family, son. And Missy Moo Moo. <laughs> this is the sound a doggy makes. Moo. That's not right. Well, that's the mother sound your mother made last night, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, you guys are great. So who? Let me make sure I said hi to everybody that came in for the raid. A huge raid. Excellent streamer, guys. Hey, Black Dragon. So thank you so much. I appreciate it, Black Dragon. Um, his name is Miss Don Online. He's been he's been killing it with the wild wow, man. Awesome dude. Great friend. Awesome man. Um let's see. So strike, we just finished Virtuous Mission, so not very far. Yeah, thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Uh Dom, uh Kelstrom, Shane, Missy, Reality, Brandy. I didn't see Brandy, Rain. Thank you for coming in if you're still here. Uh, if there's anyone else I missed that came in, please let me know. Please let me know. Please let me know. Are you still playing? Stashley! Stashley, thank you so much for the sub, and thank you so much for subscribing. And remember, when we get one life to live, baby, live it. To the max. Welcome to the family, son. Thank you. Hey, Quiet Cheer. I was talking about people that raided. Hey, Nick. Yeah, so you never seen any Metal Gear? Well, oh my goodness. Hey, Sam. 
Sam, I said hi to you right when we came in. I was talking about miss from the from them raiding. Smith, that'd be funny. How you doing, Sam? Good to have you here, buddy. You do count as a person, though. So, Nick, 50% of my channel is Metal Gear, and then their 50% is Variety. Um, it's kind of like Corey, except his is like 90% WoW, 10% anything else. He's like 90, maybe 99% WoW. <laughs> so, he's a Variety guy, you know, like me. <laughs> Missy Moo Moo, yes. Love James Bond, and I love Metal Gear. Okay, for those that raided. Because Nick was talking about not ever playing much of Metal Gear. For those that raided, because a lot of y'all kind of already know. Um, do y'all know much about Metal Gear? Ever played Metal Gear? First time ever seeing it played? But yeah, I love James Bond. Hence the name Pudge 007. But 007 has a lot of other meanings. It's the year I graduated from high school. Um, seven was my baseball number. First time reality. Nice. Kato. Kato Sanchez, yeah. He has it on his back. Yeah, I don't have any tattoos. Missy. Missy Moo Moo. Dude, Metal Gear Solid 3 is so good. We're, and what we're doing is we're doing an in-depth full story playthrough. Non-lethal. Um, European Extreme, which is the hardest one. So even if you get spotted, it's a game over. So, uh... Needless to say, I'm pretty good at this game. Um, I'm trying not to sound like a turd. I don't mean it like, oh yeah, I'm the best ever. But I'm pretty... This is one I'm really good at, so... And I'm good at a lot of them, but... Miss Murder, hush. <laughs> Or reality. All right, we'll get to the game. I'm sorry, buddy. I appreciate you coming in. Appreciate y'all. Thanks again, y'all, for subscribing and coming in. You're pretty good. Love you guys. You guys are great. You guys are great. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Arian. What's up, Arian? Kersey. Smith, I'm pretty good. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> But yeah, but welcome everybody. Welcome newcomers. You guys are awesome. Welcome. Is uh, Corey still playing? Hey Trey, what's up, dude? Is Corey still playing? You're pretty good. Hey, there's Ocelot saying it. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, when I load the game, it's going to do that again. So no worries. Kato, I'm kind of good. Okay. Thank you so much. Donation hype. The crit. Yeah, Hideo Kojima even follows my streams. So, Hideo Kojima, do you want that to go towards one of the fates for the end? Hmm. <laughs> Like kind of good. I'm, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, sure. What do you got? I think it's possible for you to be a bunny. If you're human, then no. Dude, that sounds like a great day, Trey. So no, <laughs> you're a human. So no. You can act like a bunny, but you can't ever be a bunny. If that makes sense. Hey, RJ. Being human sucks sometimes. Yeah, it does. It's okay. Make a good playboy bunny. <laughs> um, so we're about to play it. I'm sorry. Um, let me get this thing open. So you want the, the one pound donation to go towards... The fight. Okay, that's what we'll do. Yeah, sometimes when that, like I have, because I have a couple of cats, and you know they just have no worries. It's like, man, why can't I just be the cat for the day? It's a Hideo Kojima. <laughs> Since that's your name on here. 
What is one pound in U.S. dollars? I have to look this up. Pounds to U.S. dollars, because that day. 1.27 today. All right, guys, we are almost there. I'm so sorry for those who are just coming in. Appreciate your patience. There's the math for the day. 26.27. All right, got it. Hey, Battle Sheep, what's up? <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, here we go. Yeah, Trey, you do face the ocelot dudes, yes. It's not that bad, though. Oh, it didn't do that. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see the... I'm gonna let y'all see the thing at the end. I thought it saved... I didn't know it saved after that. I'm restarting it. I'm gonna let y'all see the, uh, the opening. Because it's awesome. Okay, Sam, sounds good. I'm gonna let y'all... We're gonna watch the first part. I know, Kato, so good. Yeah, you're, I play this on European Extreme all the time. I know, Kato, this game is so good. Alright, I'm letting y'all see the first part of it. Yeah, she. Here we go. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. You're pretty good. Give the end the fight of his life. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. So Thank you, dog. All right, here we go.
But yeah, uh, Spectrum, thanks for the follow on Twitch. Thank you so much for subscribe, uh, following. And remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Uh, and donation hype to cheer. Thank you, dude. No, Kato, she just does it. Sam, I didn't say snake beater. <laughs> and I am cute dog. I am. I try not to be too loud. I gotta remember because my wife's asleep. So, OG, and she goes back to work tonight. Snake treater. He's a vet. <laughs> That's right. Welcome everybody. Snake treater. Snake beater. Gosh, this takes so long to load. Uh oh. A liquid! A liquid! $50 to fight the end. Kappa pride, Kappa pride, Kappa pride. Okay, donation hi, damn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Revolver. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. <laughs> Thank you so much. Supply is nominal. Power supply to payload any three systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you, too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. 
I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean... the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells hey, along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? 
KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with the collectibles. Thanks for the sub and thanks for subscribing. And remember, with him when you get there. Oh, one life to live, live it to the max, Kale. Appreciate you very much, bud. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. About to lose it. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. 
We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? and Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an hey, all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Yeah. Snake Eater. Okay, so we're gonna try to get some things here too. All right, we got a got a snake. If I get some of these things. Ra ray ru ray ro. Where do I go? The ice of the agency. <laughs> Gavin, yes. I've already done it. I actually already have it. I'm trying to get all kinds of different animals to... Antidote. Hey, Gavin. Yeah, Glenn Jack. I do this on European Extreme all the time, bruh. Tasty. Hey, CJS, you're the son of him? Nice. Well, welcome. <clears throat> Let's do this. Glenn J. It amazes you every time. <laughs> Battleship the Illuminati. Yes. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. America. Red, white, and blue. America. Hey, Big Mike. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> I'm America. Captain America. Even though France is the same colors. So, France. <laughs> and other people. <laughs> France. Yeah, in the European Extreme, if you get seen, get spotted, you're, you're gone. You're done for. I could have sworn there were some things around here I could get. The very beginning. It's like a type of plant. Where is it? Hmm.
Mm, let's see. Let's see what I got in my backpack right now. Yeah, I am early. I'm very early. In All right, so what we're going to do is try to get some of this stuff. 1776. <laughs> Was that? <laughs> Got it. No, it's just some other things. But it's not that big of a deal. I'll get some other type of plant later. Stun grenade a stun grenade a uh, a plant <laughs> that works. Yo, you snake, aren't you? Yeah. And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. Two different ways, Gavin. I'll explain it after this call. If you know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Later. Um, you can get the stealth camo two different ways. One way is to shoot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm... One way is to shoot all the keratins. There's like 64 of them, I think. And, uh, you know, and then play through the same, the same save state. Um, the other way... Hey, Classy Nerd, how you doing? Um, the other way is to beat the whole, the whole game without being spotted once. That's how you get it. One of the, one of the two ways. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. Emotions? For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the Gavin, fury. yep. It's all right, though. I've for done it. For absolute terror, the fear. And for Revolver unsurpassed it is. bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Adam Wesker, hello. Hey, Cordy. Battle, I suppose. Ah. <sighs> During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Does it matter what difficulty? You can do it for any difficulty, but when you save it, you can only play it through that difficulty, though. So, like European Extreme, I've got the stealth camo for it because I've beaten, I've gone through the European Extreme and beaten it without being spotted. So let's say if you go through the whole game by not being spotted on the easiest mode, you can only play it for that difficulty, not for any other difficulty. It locks it to that particular difficulty setting, yes. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending Rose. the Alamo in the <laughs> Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building Welcome within KM. 150 Anytime, yards buddy. of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're mm, actually Daniel, even more right. powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what would happen if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Um, you mean you're not wearing any face paint? You can take off your face paint by selecting no paint from face. <laughs> Big Mike. <laughs> Just select no paint when you want to skip wearing any face paint at all. But your camo index is never going to be as high without face paint as it is with it. Unless you want the enemy to see you, you ought to be wearing face paint. Got it. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, first press the start button to check out the survival viewer. Then select camouflage and, and you'll see two more options, face and uniform. Choose face to apply face paint and uniform to change your field uniform. Simple, really. Make sure and choose something that'll match your surroundings. <sighs> Gosh. Sorry, my contact's being weird. I heard you fought against KGB troops in the Virtuous Mission. 
But this time you're up against Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz is the special forces unit of GRU, the intelligence wing of the Soviet Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. Spetsnaz troops undergo rigorous training in all types of special ops, from assassination and demolition to intelligence gathering. That and Volgan's loaded, man. His unit is one of the best equipped in the entire Soviet Union, if not the best. I heard the enemy Abigail, yes, and we'll do it just play station. through. Yes. We're only carrying weapons like AKs and grenades. Well, it ain't that simple anymore. In addition to AKs, some of the patrols you'll encounter might be equipped with Scorpion submachine guns and shotguns. The Suchinoko. The Suchinoko. Scorpion is even lighter than the AK, making it much <laughs> Pretty easier tasty. to handle. You ate it? Basically, what? a guy with a Scorpion is not going to miss you as often as with an AK. The shotgun is a powerful weapon. One blast is enough to floor you, and you're likely to be seriously wounded. Watch for that, man. Got it. I do an Abigail. Keep in mind Welcome that back. Every weapon and piece of equipment weighs something. The heavier the equipment you're lugging around, the faster you'll burn up stamina. You can see how much your equipment weighs by going into the backpack screen in the survival viewer. If you're trying to conserve your stamina, <laughs> good. make some cuts and toss the equipment you don't need in your backpack. Got it. You're wearing the tiger stripe pattern camouflage, huh? Yeah. Tiger stripe is a forest camouflage. We're just getting through As some of these codecs the before name, we meet the it boss. It mimics again. the stripe pattern on the tiger's coat. It was originally worn by South Vietnamese Marines. Then it caught the attention of an American military advisor, and now they're thinking of introducing it into all kinds of special forces units. It works best in places with lots of trees and grass, but it should blend in with dirt and mud too. Got it. Let me change something on the title. Squares is a mountain camo that's basically a bunch of square patterns. Sorry, it might guys. look conspicuous at first glance, but it actually blurs the contours of the person wearing it and makes them more difficult to pick out. It should give you a low profile against reddish backgrounds like bricks and rusty metal. Nah, I guess I can't. I don't have enough room. <laughs> Quarty, no. So you've got your uniform and your face paint, but that alone isn't enough to make for good camouflage. Camouflage means blending in with nature. To make your disguise complete, you've got to keep a low profile and avoid overt movements. As long as you've got the uniform and face paint working for you, and you're lying flat keeping still, you won't have to worry about being spotted from a distance. On the flip side, dancing around your enemy in perfect camo is still a dead giveaway. So if the enemy's looking for you and he's getting too close for comfort, just lay low for the time being. Got it. All right, good. I changed the title so people are wondering, why are you playing and doing all these codec calls? This is an in-depth The camo playthrough. index located in the top right corner of... Okay. Paramedic. Noodle Poodle, Snake, this one's good. so good to hear from you again. My favorite, Same probably. Here. This one in one. One and three are my favorites. Four days, actually. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Uh, then you must have seen me naked. Cardi, yeah. yeah. But you were all wrapped up in bandages that was and funny. Tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But seriously, don't forget that you were like that until just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you hey, start Soccer to King. run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, hey, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. You're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. Ooh. Maybe so. Oh! By the way, I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? No, I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. Richie, no. He's talking about Metal Gear Solid Snake, 3, not you're 4. you're the best agent I've ever seen. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't right. kill each other. Quack. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Right. Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. 
All right. Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Some of them are venomous, like the king cobra, so be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through hey, your Hey, Ghost body and Hale, what's going on? Drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen and survival viewer Sam, immediately it's not. and inject yourself with serum. Got it? Got it. Yeah, it's not available on PS4, Sam. It's on PS2 and PS3 and Xbox 360. And the, and the uh, subsistence version is available on Xbox, I think. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. Thank you, Summer Bear. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile, too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia. Okay, Zealand. thank you. Thank you, it's Gavin. It's a really pretty green color, and it lives... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. Ugh, oh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. <laughs> how should I know? <clears throat> it was awfully pretty, though. <laughs> Gavin, it's a non-lethal playthrough, so that's what I would do. would be knocking him out. I wouldn't be killing him. I see you found a Bicol Scaly Tooth. Yeah. The Bicol Scaly Tooth Mushroom is used as an antidote to poison. And I added it on there. It usually cents. grows in the trunks of trees, so look for it there. How does it taste? I think you're going to be disappointed. Damn. Oh, quit your whining. Damn. You know what they say, good medicine tastes bitter. <laughs> you can capture animals a lot. Snake. King Cobras are making their home in the area you're in now. Yeah. The King Cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to yeah, Hopefully, protect. soccer. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. Damn. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. If you get bitten by a King Cobra and injected with venom, your life will start to decrease rapidly. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The King Cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. Uh-oh. Got it. So... What? How does it taste? Yeah. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> it seems you're the one whose diet consists of other snakes. Yep. You're making me blush. <laughs> the guide says they taste just fine. Hmm. That is cheap. Ugh. Yeah, true. Snake, that's the home to the otten frog. All right, I said the last the one. Otten frog okay, is we're a almost large, there. Corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. All right, got it. By the way. You said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I Hugo, thank you so much for the sub, and thanks for subscribing. And, sukiyaki are popular and remember, you only get one life to live. Really? Live it to the max. Yeah. Thank you so much. Japan, Welcome to the family, son. That place is starting to sound better and better. Thank you, Hugo. Appreciate it. Treating serious wounds will require you to use additional medical items besides your knife and cigar. That's why it's always a good idea to carry as many medical items with you as possible. If you start to run out <laughs> of medical right. items, find some more as soon as you can. The enemy should be carrying <laughs> medical supplies as well. You Thank can you get so much, them by Hugo. up enemy soldiers and shaking down their bodies. You'll find a fruit called the Yabloko Maloko growing in that Yabloko area. Yabloko Maloko. Yablo, what now? <laughs> Yabloko Maloko. It's a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. It's a type of star apple. 
the juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you cut one and a half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Pretty tasty. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. For once. <laughs> Sam, what are you talking about? You've seen this game played, right? Snake, that area is in half. We already talked to her about that. Snake, be careful when you... Okay. You just heard a horse? Yeah. Yeah. You sure it wasn't something else? I know a horse when I hear one. Paramedic, are there any wild horses in Selino Yask? Do you really expect me to say yes? No. So what should I do? There's only one way through that area. All you can do is move forward. Oh, QWERTY. Okay. Head towards the sound of that horse. It came from the north. Be careful. Snake, your first task is to meet up with Adam, the contact provided by the KGB. The rendezvous point is the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. Head north. Head north. The abandoned factory. That's where I met Sokolov during the Thanks everyone mission. for being here. You guys are awesome. Correct, but we can't afford to have the same thing happen this time. I know. Like the Virtuous mission, Operation Snake Eater is a solo sneaking mission. There are no units in the field to back you up. Avoid engaging the enemy whenever possible. Your first priority is to remain unseen. There's going to be a lot of codec calls Use at the, the beginning because there's a lot of stuff we have. option in the survival have. viewer and choose your but. camouflage wisely. Proceed with caution. We'll make it through, guys. We'll make it through. Unlike the Virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll get lost more easily in the dark, but it'll also make your camouflage more effective and make it harder for the enemy to see you. On the other hand, it will also be more difficult for you to see them. You'll also find that different animals are active. Some of these nocturnal animals are poisonous, so stay alert. Paramedic is with us again to provide information on the local plants and animals. I know. Give her a call if there's anything you need to know. You're saying there's anything else? Operation Snake Eater is different from the Virtuous mission in that you won't be able to complete it in just a few hours. The time limit set by Khrushchev is one week. Within that time, you'll have to rescue Sokolov, defeat Volgin, destroy the Shagohod, and... I know. Good. In any event, you'll not be allowed to return until you've accomplished your objectives. Survival in the field will be critical in this mission, and the most important survival technique of all is, of course, finding food. You can get food in the same way you did during the Virtuous mission, by capturing it. Yeah. The enemy presence in that area is still light. Put bacon on mine. Try and get as much food as possible while you can. Thanks to last week's nuclear incident, the Soviet Union is now on secondary alert. We're one step away from a nuclear war. DEFCON 2, huh? In American parlance, yes. From what Western intelligence has been able to gather, the radical elements in the Soviet command are showing signs of impatience. They say we're on the brink of World War III here. Oh, Lord. And with Khrushchev's position getting weaker every day, I worry whether he'll be able to hold them back. One week. Yes. America must eliminate the boss by its own hand to prove its innocence. There is no other way to resolve the crisis. Everything rests on your shoulders, Snake. No pressure. Failure is not an option. I know. It's not? Crap. Major, what should I do with this wreck of a drone? Just leave it there. Are you sure? Yes. But isn't this thing top secret? Yes, it is. Hey, After Roman Reigns, what's up? plane incident four years ago, Plans were laid out for future spy missions in Soviet airspace to be carried out by an unmanned craft. Mm, dilly dilly. That craft was the D-21 spy drone, the basis of the one you came in on. The D-21 is launched from a craft called the M-21. The M-21 itself is a derivative of the A-12, a supersonic long-range spy plane currently being developed as the successor to the U-2. However, for this mission, we used a modified YF-12A, a long-range interceptor version of the A-12. After being released from the mothership, the drone can achieve speeds upwards of Mark III at Who's high altitude. This is Adam Sandler thing you are talking engine. about. 
It can't be shot down by ground-to-air missiles, and it's nearly undetectable by radar. With Selinoyarsk in such a high state of alert after our last escapade, this was the only reliable way to get you in. This is all top-secret military technology. Are you telling me I'm supposed to just leave it here? That's right. Why? The purpose of Operation Snake Eater is to send an American agent into the field in order to eliminate a defector and traitor, namely the boss. Part of that mission involves making sure the Soviets find out what we're doing. So we have to leave behind some kind of evidence that the US was involved. Don't worry. The technologically sensitive components of the craft were rigged to self-destruct when it landed. Hey, Kyle. The only thing the Soviets are going to find is a pile of American-made scrap metal. Got it. Just one thing, though. What is it? I think they'd better redesign the landing impact buffer. People are going to get hurt landing that thing. I'll let them know. <laughs> you just woke up. Major, I appreciate you allowing me to use weapons, but shouldn't I be carrying some rubles? You mean fake currency? Right. Snake, do you remember the Francis Gary Powers incident back in 1960? Powers was flying a U-2 on a spy mission for the CIA in Soviet airspace. He was shot down and taken prisoner. His confession brought to light the fact that the CIA was spying in Soviet airspace. As a result, the U.S.-Soviet summit scheduled for two weeks later was cancelled. Okay, Kyle. Yeah, I my remember. wife is too. U-2 pilots are required to carry items that mask their What's identity. What's everyone up to today? Powers was carrying ruble, mark and lira coins as well as French gold coins. He was also carrying two gold watches and seven women's rings. All of these objects were meant to conceal his national origins. Hmm. But for this mission, we've got to demonstrate to the Khrushchev regime that America is involved. There's no need to conceal your origins. And besides, all you need to do is complete your mission. As long as you're not captured or killed, the details will take care of themselves. Okay. Well, weekend plans begin. You gonna be streaming today, Battlesheet? Or streaming this weekend? The Soviet intelligence community must be up in arms about the boss's defection. The great voice. Sorry, you don't get these codecs unless you get them now, so I gotta Soviet get these now for the in-depth order. The in-depth playthrough. That's what they call Kyle, the not yet. The Iron Curtain. It means warrior. I haven't even met the boss yet. We're almost Russia. there. When used to refer to a woman, it means something close to Lady Knight. In Russia where they've had a number of female emperors throughout their history, it's a term of great respect. Well, poetic in a way. The boss's exploits have made her name famous in the East as well. Sounds good, Battlesheep. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to Battlesheep if you haven't yet, guys. A good friend of mine. Major, why did the boss defect? I don't know, but I will tell you this. America is all too eager to get rid of her. What do you mean? She knows too many of our secrets. If she were to relay all the top secret information she knows to the Soviet bloc, it would put us at a severe disadvantage. It might even lead to the downfall of the West. Even if we survive, the boss is still too much of a hero to us. With her in the Soviet camp, we'd suffer a fatal loss of morale at home. There are even whispers that some of the less stalwart elements of the military might follow her example and defect themselves. I assume you're aware that since your last mission, several key figures within the CIA have been placed under house arrest. Yeah. The loss of the boss... Cordy, not the second one time. Indeed. What about you? Hm, me? I still can't believe it. As a comrade, I would have placed my trust in her before my own family. But now that I think about it, the boss always <laughs> seemed to have an aura of mystery about her. I never Aww. would have expected Aww. it to manifest in this way, though. <sighs> Oh, well, it won't do to get all misty-eyed about it. She's an enemy now, worthy of nothing more than our contempt. Understood. Um, I've only played this game a couple of hours. Like, if you're looking at it for yesterday, uh, I had to do two different streams because my internet went down. Um, but uh, that, the word it has, like, five hours, where it says Metal Gear Solid 3, about... Four hours of that, or four and a half hours of that, is Metal Gear Solid 2, because I changed the title and everything after we beat it in the same stream. Major, tell me a little bit more about the space race. In 1957, the Soviet Union succeeded in launching their first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. Having been beaten to the chase by the Soviets, the U.S. government you accelerated its own space program in an effort to catch up. 
The following year, hey, the space development programs of the various service branches morning. were united Afternoon. to form the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA. That same year, the Mercury program was launched. How about, yeah, the I slept a, a lot, actually. Seven candidates were chosen from the military as the first astronauts. These were the men with the right stuff. But as you know, it was a Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, who made the first successful the retweet manned manager space piece. flight three Appreciate years it. ago. NASA's first successful ballistic flight came one month after Gagarin's mission, with the Freedom 7 carrying Alan Shepard into space. After that, with America still lagging behind the Soviets in orbital flight, President Kennedy made a momentous decision. That America would put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. Yeah, I heard that speech, but a lot of guys I knew weren't real happy about it. They said no one was going to make them go on a mission to blow up some damn moon base. But rocket research and missile research are closely related. Imagine, if you will, a Soviet Union Thank you, able to send wave after wave Strike of nuclear missiles raining down on Washington from a base on the surface of the moon. Is he here? Even if that's still a long way from reality, if yes, we lose right the there. initiative, we may never get it back. We're left with no choice Strike but you to here. keep moving forward one step at a time. The Gemini program launched two years ago represents the initial step towards establishing a moon base. And yet, I don't want to call <laughs> President day. Kennedy a liar, but I simply can't imagine that in six years hey, Carlos. man will have reached the moon. I don't know. I never even thought we'd make it up into space. I guess it all depends on whether you have the will to make it happen. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps you're right. Snake, let's go over the controls for CQC one more time. Press the CQC button once to throw a Thank punch. you, Love Daddy. Press it repeatedly to launch a combo attack. Can't remember if there's something funny CQC on this or not. CQC doesn't really start to shine, however, until you grab an enemy. Press and hold the CQC button to extend your right hand and grab the enemy. Move the left stick at the same time. Yeah. Snake? Camouflage and face hey, name not found. Hey, make you blend in completely. In addition to the camouflage, yeah, the moon is tasty. It tastes you like cheese. All right, let's save it and then we'll meet the boss. Do you want to save? Do you want to save? The moon is tasty. Pretty tasty. Yo. We've been up to Metagear Peace. Pretty tasty. <laughs> hey, another perspective. What's going on? That's right, Dishonorable Judge. What's going on? Hey, Snake, have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No, can't say I have. It's about this expedition that goes to the planet Altair IV in an ultra-fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera, and the versatile Robbie <laughs> the Robot. Hey, Dodie. Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the Monster from the Id. The special effects they used for the science stuff were really neat. Hey, perspective. I I a lot today, like probably not tomorrow. I wanted it to. Sorry, back Sunday. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. Oh, wait, I've got the stealth camouflage right now. Judge, how cool would that be, man? Oh, my gosh, that'd be so awesome. Dota, he is naked. We'll do it. We'll go through that stuff in a minute. Hey, Jimmy, what's up, my dude? How are you, sir?
Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. <laughs> Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! No! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. <laughs> If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Damn. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, Judge, I'll you never tell me. be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you.
Nothing. Just come this way and it just completely goes away. Thank goodness. And it's completely done. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. And that takes care of that part. <laughs> Major. Snake, the boss is your enemy. You've got to accept that Major. reality. Major. <sighs> Adam is waiting for you at the abandoned factory. I know I'm going backwards. It's okay. Position. I know. Head north. The enemy must have seen the drone explode. They've probably already sent out patrol units. You never know when you'll encounter the enemy. Use your camouflage wisely and proceed with caution. Got it. Time paradox, baby. That's right, Abigail. Major, why was the boss there? Did they detect my infiltration? Yeah. That's impossible. The drone shouldn't have been picked up by their radar at all. Then how did hey, you Blaine. know? Hey, Blaine. It couldn't have been a... That's also out of the question. We've taken all measures to ensure this mission stays secret. Thank you, Battle what's Sheet. going on? I don't know. Uh, it won't do you any good to dwell on it, Snake. Hurry to your rendezvous with Adam. Head for the like party. Hey, Ezot. Hey. Watch out for enemy patrols. Stay alert. Chop, I did, and then reloaded. Okay? What's up, Ezot? Major. What is it? Why did the boss betray us? Leave it alone, Snake. But. We've been through this before. Besides, asking for reasons now won't change anything. It won't. I thought I'd find out if I met her face to face. Let's see you, I thought for Thank sure you she'd tell me, but... Then you'll have to find your own answers. By completing my mission? Yes. <sighs> Snake, this is a solo sneaking operation. There are no medics there to assist you. You'll have to treat your own injuries. Are we clear? I had a little bit of training, but... I'm no doctor. That's where I come in. To treat an injury, first press the start button to open the survival viewer, then select cure to start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Right, Judge. Treatment with medicine involves administering oral remedies about and serum about a month. injections. You'll use this treatment method when you I'm have back a day. What'd you eat? or when you've been bitten by a venomous animal. Surgical treatment involves about a, about a applying month. surgical techniques to injured areas. You'll use this method to take Damn care of the gunshot wounds. Jeez. As long as you do everything you're supposed to, your injury should heal completely. Be sure to follow the proper procedures. Snake, the food you catch will gradually... <laughs> All right, Judge. Heck yeah, I love barbecue ribs. Some types of food spoil. Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll be encountering nocturne. Snake, Judge, I've paid him off. Your comrades is wounded in battle. What do you usually do? I call for a medic. What if there's no medic nearby? I don't even want to think about Gavin that. Gavin, what? Think about it. That's my worst nightmare. Any soldier can perform basic first aid, but it takes a specialist to perform the more complicated procedures. Judge, no. I know a lot of guys who'd still be alive today if they'd had access to a medic. Me too. So I got to thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could parachute medics into the front lines where they're needed most? You bet. That's why you're called paramedic. Yeah. With a unit like that, we could save a couple of lives, huh? No. No? Not a couple. We could save many lives. Thanks. I think the army needs a unit like that. And if no one else will do it, I'm going to create one myself. Sounds like a plan. Will you help me? Count on it. Yeah, it's not a foxhound room because it'll ta it takes too much time. Or I could do it. Snake. <coughs> <coughs> Snake, unlike the ah! Ow. Get off me, bro.
Revolver, no, because I won't beat it in enough time. <laughs> I'm going backwards because I'm showing y'all some things. Mm -hmm. Gonna be this goat over here. Where's the goat at? Yeah, I hear it. There's the goat. And a rabbit. Snake, unlike Talk to me about the rabbit, okay? Snake, Here we that go. area is inhabited by European rabbits. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. Uh, they eat their own? That's right. It's called cecal feces. Ooh. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented in the rabbit's appendix, or cecum, and turned into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. <laughs> Snake. Rabbits and humans don't work the... I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? A little, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. I guess not. But how did those seagull feces taste? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snake, do you know what epinephrine is? What's with the questions? Well, do you? No. Judgment. Also known as adrenaline? <clears throat> Never heard of it. Really? Nope. I have. Good for you. Good for you. Do you want to hear about it? Nope, not really. Oh, I think you should hear about it. Here we go. <laughs> so, epinephrine is a type of hormone. It's secreted from the adrenal glands in high-stress situations, like when you're <laughs> yeah. exercising or you're under pressure. The epinephrine is released into the bloodstream and stimulates special receptor cells on various organs throughout the body. This causes the heart to beat faster, the blood vessels to constrict, and the respiratory passages to expand. Yep. It also raises blood pressure. You ever notice how you're faster and stronger than normal when you're under stress? That's because of epinephrine, and when you're bleeding, it... Paramedic. Yeah. Is there a point to all of this? Of course. In the alert Gee, phase, that's your body awesome, secretes man. epinephrine, and Pretty so your tasty. stamina won't be depleted as fast. Uh-huh. There. Good thing I told you, huh? As always. Type an exclamation point intel, then you'll know, Blaine. Snake, that area is inhabited by the Japanese flying squirrel. Japanese flying squirrels are non-venomous, and they shouldn't attack you. The head, front legs, hind legs, and tail of the Japanese flying squirrel are connected by a membrane of skin, Interesting. which allows the squirrel to glide from tree to tree. It says here that if it catches a good wind, it can fly more than a hundred yards. Dang. Sounds like it's going to be tough to catch one. So, aren't you going to ask me? You know it. How does it taste? Not sure. Not sure? The guy doesn't say anything about it. Why not? Pretty tasty, Abigail. Gee, maybe it's because no one would ever think of eating a flying squirrel. Then I must be the first one. <sighs> maybe you are. <laughs> Love Snake, it. that area is inhabited by markors. The markor is a kind of wild goat that lives in mountainous areas. It's quite large, so I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive, even with the tranquilizer gun. All right. Speaking of which, do you know the origin of the name Markor? No. Have you? It means snake eater in Persian. Snake eater. Snake eater. Yeah. Lost your appetite? Not at all. So, how does it taste? It's supposed to be pretty good. All right. <laughs> all right. Snake, unlike the virtuous myth, there should be an herb called Chinese plantain growing in that area. The Chinese plantain is an herb that resembles a plantain root. The leaves and seeds contain large amounts of ocubin, choline, and tannin. When you mash it up and apply it to a wound, it helps stop the flow of blood and eases the pain a bit. Got it. The Chinese plantain becomes a styptic when you pick it up. If you see one, don't forget to take it with you. When you get hurt... Snake, I think there's a plant called Slav Horhound growing in that area. Horhound. 
Sloth horehound is an herb in the horehound family. It contains large amounts of diterpene, flavonoids, and alkaloids, which give it strong germicidal properties. Horehound. If you find one, it should make a good disinfectant. You should be able to find ezocomfrey in that area. What's that? Ezocomfrey is a plant in the comfrey family that's found only in Salino Yarsk. If you find one, you can use it as a cast to treat broken bones. Yeah. How can a plant be turned into a splint? The roots of the ezocomfrey are extremely sticky. You can use Judge, them as a that's just plastic asinine. cast to fasten the affected area in place. I get it. When you're bitten by a venomous animal, Hater is the voice of Snake is great, but as the act as an actor of Snake, I don't think so. Found some chaff. I don't think he will. My guess is that he won't. That's okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lane, I don't know about that. Mate, I don't know how they would get that to work. Unless if it was animated. The movie was animated. Like Ryu? I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ryu. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. Another good stealth game? Alright, let's kind of go back and forth. My timing's off. Hey, Ninja Master. Let me get my timing. My timing's off. Another good stealth game. Uh, another good solid V. Splinter Cell, that's not on that, is it? Hey, music. It's kind of the, uh, whenever you're trying to get the Foxhound run, that's kind of how you do that. Let's see. Win, Snake, win. Uh, 
and let me save it. You want to save? Yeah. Doing this as CQC only is really fun too. How you doing, music? It's good to see you. You blame with well, that? I don't know. Then <laughs> you hate The Last of Us. That game's so good. My opinion, of course. Do I like KFC? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I like Splinter Cell Blacklist. Uh-oh. Lehman Schobert. No. Hey, Big Dolphin. Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. That's it? Hey, Patrick Phoenix. Hard to sneak. It is hard to sneak, but it's fun, though. Good to see you, Patrick. Save on ammo, no doubt. Let me change camouflage. KFC does sound kind of like KGB, doesn't it? Sure does. Right. Let's see. Hitman's a good sneaking game. Blame you. I mean, it's okay, but I can understand why you'd say that. Yeah. Get rid of all the ropes. That's fun. I've never played Conviction. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that guy to come back and then turn around and then we're going to choke him out. To the end fight. It's still fun. I like it the whole game, Patrick. But of course, I'm biased. Pretty sneaky. Hey, Undertaker. I love that part. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess they saw me. <laughs> Shit. I think they see me from over there. <laughs> they must have saw me from off. He must have been on the rope. Damn. <sighs> hey, Team Greylock. That's right. How you doing? I 
they suck again. I should have changed. That's so funny. <laughs> that was funny. I should have looked, and I didn't. I didn't. I know revolver. I know. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> Yeah, it does. That's okay, though. I'm okay with that. We're having a good time. Who's having a good time today? I am. I am. God. Blaine, nope. It's worth it. Good. I hope you are having a great time. I hope you're having a good Friday. Thank you all so much for being here. Me. What time is it where you are, Craig? Let me guess. Like nine, nine thirty something. Blaine, I don't know. Today's been great, Sam. Good. Does also like gesture. Oh shit. He actually saw me. Damn it. What? <sighs> he didn't see me last time. Dang it. Okay. This is the time. I can't believe it. What the frick? Sweet, Blaine. That's awesome. All right. This is the time. Sorry, guys. Please forgive me. How does this game take so freaking long to load? Hold on just a second. Hello? Hey, what's up? Okay, you okay? Yeah, it's been raining off and on all day. Okay, yeah. Okay. She's fine. She's she's sleeping right now. Yeah, she goes back tonight and Saturday. Uh, yeah. He does. All just rested and just relaxing now. Okay, well, good. Hope it goes well. All right. Are you okay? You sound perturbed. All good. All right, we'll get some rest. Right, Adam is you. waiting for you at the abandoned factory to the north of your yeah, current back position. Tomorrow. Head north. No. Adam is waiting for you Should at the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. All right, talk Head to north. Love you too. See you. Okay. All right, here we go. My fan base is sneaky. I know. Okay. No, my wife's asleep. That's my mom. <laughs> Who's 
Blaine, yeah, I probably won't. Because of other stuff, but thank you. Mama Pudge. Revolver. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. I might play Metal Gear Survive before that revolver, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> Abigail, oh God. <laughs> exactly. That's who spotted me last time was that prick. PUBG. It is in my name. Flip the D B around. Add a D. Or add an E. It was fun, though. I love playing God of War. I do need to watch Mission Impossible Fallout. Oh my gosh, Revolver. Yeah, I've never played Far Cry 5. Who in here has played Far Cry 5? You have? Did you enjoy it, Craig? Pretty cool. <laughs> Shit. I let go on accident. Snake, you all right? Snake. Abigail, I don't throw you, Joe. It's okay. If you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. <sighs> no, Blaine, I don't want to quit. I just I accidentally let go because I was trying to hold him up and, like, ask him something, but that didn't work out. Ninja Master, I don't know. I don't own it, so. Let's go. Okay, I just had to get that out. <laughs> God, so freaking annoying. You enjoyed it, Abigail. You enjoyed it. <laughs> no, I hardly even touch myself. Gavin, that would suck. A brain concussion. Brain concussion and concussion are the same thing. Yeah, I don't own uh, Far Cry 5. Okay. All right, this time we're just going to... I can do it. I know I can. I'm just warming up. Warming up. I try to, like, hold him up, and next time I'm just going to choke him out. Just going to choke him out.
this time, this time, then the other dude saw me. Uh. <laughs> Everyone's gonna leave now because, like, Pudge sucks. Dude's terrible. What a noob. You're so trash, Pudge. You trash. <laughs> I do this so e easy all the time, and I am just, oh, right now. Jiminy Cricket. Blaine, because I want to do no continues on the save. Also, like, shut up. I'm trying to do no continues on the save. I know, Miss Murder. I'm just playing. I'm just trying to be funny. Ah, this thing just takes so freaking long to load. That's why it's so freaking annoying. Come on. Blaine, shut up. That is not the case at all. My first time playing this, that's a joke. What got me into it? I don't know why I did that. Um, just the story. The story and the gameplay, I love it. And I like, I like, I like uh, games where you have to sneak. I think it's so fun. Oh, Revolver Hush. Alright, this is it. I'm good now. Try and get all the items, because there's an item under there, too, that I want to get, so... Metal Gear Solid? You mean survive? Hey, Ryan, what's up, dude? You mean Metal Gear Survive, Blaine? Are you talking about Metal Gear Solid? I'm guessing you mean Metal Gear Survive. You gotta when someone says MGS, they that usually means solid. So oh, music! I've beaten this tons of times. I'm not worried about beating this. Oh, like in person. Got you. Got you. Right, this time... <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> What's up, nobody? There's no such thing as Metal Gear Solid Solid Subsistence Substance. Metal Gear Solid Solid. <laughs> hey, Master Bear. What's up, dude? A delicious definition. Make the chat go loco. What's up, Master Bear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm focusing. Focus, focus, focus. That'll work. That's who spotted me. Master Bear, I did. 
I haven't played Acid. He's got four stars now. Yeah, but not much, brother. Is, is there better camouflage here? Looks like it. Oh yeah, it's good stuff, man. Oh god, that was close. I just wanted to get that stuff. Hey, Shorty. Alright, we're good to go now. Brain fart done with. Got the brain fart done. Brain fart's over with. Blaine, I have done that. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> I've never played port. You know, I've never played portable. I've played all the cannon games, but I never played portable ops. That area is home. To yeah, I know. When you get shot, snake. Unlike. You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yep. Yeah. Now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good. Go to it. So, where is he? We weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. A physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him, then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. Uh... Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. Right revolver, yeah. Here's that. Master Bear, what are you up to today, man? Good to see Adam you. Adam is a spy sent by the KGB to infiltrate Volgin's ranks. You'll need to be extremely careful in how you approach him. Obviously. Let's love You can't let Volgin know he's meeting me. That's right. Adam won't oh, buddy, show up. I played those. You said Metagross solid. Before you go to rendezvous with Adam, Not make two. sure you haven't been seen by the enemy. Meet up with him in normal phase. Got it? Are you talking about Metal Gear? Are you talking about like this, the Metal Gear Solid Integral? Are you talking about Integral? Major. Yes? I was just wondering, why do they call you Zero? What do you mean? We go back a long ways, but I just realized I never asked you why you're called Zero. You want to know where it comes from? Yeah, if that's all right. Well, it's a bit nostalgic, really. Nostalgic? Hmm, the first British intelligence outfit was established in 1909. The head of the Foreign Intelligence Division was a man named Mansfield George Smith Cumming. He was referred to simply as C after the first letter of his last name. Since then, out of respect for Cumming, the heads of the SIS have traditionally taken the name of C. And James Bond's boss is called M. That's right. I myself was once known as O. And that's where Zero comes from? Precisely. In another sense, though, it signifies a ghost, one whose true identity must remain a mystery, the primogenitor of the solo sneaking operation. Is that so? So nobody, which game? Snake, Metal Gear Solid 2 or Metal Gear Solid 1? Are alone are not enough. You're talking You'll about. Need to put hey, on Nicholas. Face paint as well. 
the battery recharges automatically when not in use. When you want to recharge the battery, unequip all electronic devices and give it some time. The higher your stamina gauge, the faster your battery recharges. That's amazing. If you want it to recharge faster, eat food and recover your stamina. Also, if you run, roll or do other dramatic actions, the battery will recharge faster. Kinetic energy. Snake, I don't recommend running around wildly. You need to determine when it's best to run and when it's best just to walk. Move Blame. the left stick slightly to walk. You won't move very fast, but it consumes little stamina, and enemies are less likely to detect you. When you are near enemies, Dramatic or when you need to conserve right. stamina, those are good times to walk. With an equip... Hey, Jake. Snake. Ah, no paper. When you're using the assault rifle... Okay, let's get some calls from Sigan. Oops, wrong button. I do that all the time. Metal Gear Solid 2. Yes, I've got that. It's the HD collection is that one. Yeah, and the thing, the, but it does not, for some reason, the HD collection doesn't have, it doesn't have the skateboard one, though. But it does have the VR missions in it. Hey, Night Shame. And use your lurking noise. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's next after this? Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, nobody, you're good. You're good, you're good, man. So you've got your uniform and your face paint. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment, the first thing you do is drop it in your backpack, right? But you can't use your new goodies if they're just sitting in your backpack. To use a weapon or piece Abigail, of equipment, Abigail, is that a good thing or a bad thing? take it out of your backpack and place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got your uniform and your. Painting your face. Dang it. Let's see. I already talked about Tiger Stripe. Let's see, talk about Leaf. I'm gonna do a few of these. I'm gonna do all of them, but I'll do a few of them. You're on a solo. Keep in mind that. Oh, come on. Covering your body is a good. Pattern clothing. Looks like you got yourself some funky clothes there. There we go. Yeah, it's called a sneaking suit. Oh, okay. Sneaking suit? What's that all about? I'm not sure, but it looks like what the boss was wearing. <laughs> Well, whatever it is, it's a fine piece of work. The suit seems to be made of some kind of special bulletproof fiber. Wearing it should reduce all the damage you take by half. Yeah. The waterproofing and heat and moisture insulation are top notch. Just having it on will reduce the amount of stamina you burn. Yeah. It even increases your overall camo index. You got yourself a keeper, Snake. Yeah. Maybe we should make it the official uniform of Fox. When you fire continuously, you're on a solo. Mm, okay, because he doesn't talk about that one. Maybe he just talks about the ones that you grab. Don't I forget. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. The water pattern was used a lot by the old German Defense Force. Yeah, he's talking about Even though it's one. called the water pattern, it wasn't designed specifically to blend in underwater. Hmm. They only gave it that name because the pattern resembles the waves on the surface of a pool of water. But still, it really does look like it could be confused for liquid waves. It might conceal you underwater. Kyle, right? It does, because you look like a shadow. Covering your body is a good stuff. Hey, Snow, Ellie. as you might have guessed, is a winter camouflage developed to provide cover in a snowy environment. 
It's not solid white, though. It's got a little bit of vegetation pattern mixed in, too. It should work pretty well if you wear it against a white background. Desert is a brown There's colored a face one. paint used for operations in mountainous terrain as well. It should let you blend in well in mountain and desert environments. The black uniform. Tell me something, Sigint. What's that? What does Sigint mean anyway? Here we go. It's short for signal intelligence. Signal intelligence. And his butt, Blaine. The up. part of intelligence that deals with electronic information. Things like intercepting and analyzing electronic communications, determining enemy force strength and positioning from radar emissions and radio chatter. You get the idea. Code breaking is considered part of SIGINT as well. Forty years from now, we'll be in the age of electronic warfare. It won't be long before information replaces firepower as the most valuable yeah, commodity Snacky on the baby. battlefield. So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Sorry to break it to you, but that's not going to happen. No matter how advanced our technology gets, there's still no substitute for human beings. Anyway, the Major is a man of foresight. He knew the electronic age was coming, and so he called out to me. And you responded. Well, I didn't have any place else to go. You couldn't find a job. Lost a lot of fire? Nope. Maybe. None of the places where they do this kind of high-tech research you, would even let me in the door. Why not? I know you've got social problems, but... Come again? Nothing. I mean, someone with your talent ought to be able to. Yeah, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm black. Huh. The Major, though, up, he doesn't care about what color you are. I've never met anyone like him before. He's different, you know? What's up, Dodie? Oh, What's up, yeah, Asim? I know. I don't think racism's going to go away even in the 21st century. But I want to work with computers and use them to bring people closer together. In the digital world, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, American or Russian or whatever. Everybody's going to be the same. That's what I think. Mad? Why are you mad? When you're using the assault... Snow as... Covering your body... What else you got for a second? I get through some of this crap. Mad, sad. You're just gonna, you're just starting to Pattern spam just clothing, emotions. Face paint, tactical movement. Thank you, Not Shame. These Appreciate you hanging out, bud. Be sure to subscribe to Not Shame if you have your it. enemy. To camouflage. Snow, as you might. They're gonna talk about my about my mic, bro. Come on. Covering your body is a good start. When you're using the assault rifle, maybe you won't. Maybe you will now. Let's see. Hmm. I've never seen a grenade like that one before. There are two basic types of grenades: fragmentation grenades, which use shrapnel to kill or maim the target, Man. and explosive hey, grenades, Scott. which use the blast from the explosion as the offensive means. But the grenade you've got there isn't either of those. My best guess is that Abigail. it's meant to knock the enemy out Japanese without enemies. hurting us. Most likely, it's an entirely new kind of weapon Hello, developed Lucene. exclusively at Groznygrad. I've heard that the SAS is working on a low-impact grenade for training purposes, but I never thought they'd be used in an actual battle. The flash of light that occurs when the grenade explodes is probably produced by magnesium. It's the same stuff that's used in camera flashes. I'm thinking they cut down on killing power by reducing the amount of explosives and made up for it by making the flash and bang so strong that it overwhelms the enemy's senses. I guess you could call it a stun grenade. Just talk talking about if this I'm stuff. Going to be yeah, stunned, I'd rather it be by a woman. Snap out of it. Anyone around when that thing goes off will be laid out. It ought to come in handy when you're trying to storm a room or when you don't want to kill the enemy. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment, the first... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seem it is Friday. How did you know? The water pattern was used a lot by the old German... In addition to AKs, some of the patrols you... Yeah, we talked about that. Come on, dude. Your field uniform is not just a set... <sighs> You're pretty good. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment, the didn't talk about my knife either. 
Dale Kojima with the one pound donation, man. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank you. You want that to go towards anything? Craig. The fight, okay. Didn't change your mind. Sometimes you change it, so I was just asking. I see you're using the binoculars. Those are high performance binoculars made especially for the military. Hey, Juggly. They're completely waterproof and are filled with nitrogen gas to prevent lens fog. The eyepiece, objective lenses, and the prism have been coated to reduce glare. They ought to work plenty well, even in dark places. And they're even equipped with autofocus and zoom functions. Won't find a better pair of binoculars than that. What are you, a binocular salesman? Hey, I know a good product when I see one, that's all. Huh. There we go. Trojima. Let's see if he talks about my smoking. In addition to AKs, some of the patrols... LA, yeah. Splitter was used quite a bit in World War II on different. German aircraft and stuff. The pattern helped mask the plane's attitude and direction in dogfights. Even now, it's still being used as camouflage in some places. It works best when you wear it against a steel or stone background. Keep in mind that every weapon and piece of equipment weighs something. The heavier the equipment you're looking The water pack. The degree to which you... Snake, there are rats living in that area. Okay, never mind. Big death pill. Pattern clothing. Snake. No one else gonna talk about my dank death pill? Come on. Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. Okay. So what else do I have in my backpack? Wait, well, if you don't if you don't have any in your backpack. Let's see, backpack. What else do I have? Life medicine. Camera. It's okay, Rodi. I get it, buddy. Uh, we got chaff grenade, smoke grenade, and patriots. Go through these. Start to sticking about that. Desert is a brown colored face paint. You pattern. Yes, he didn't talk about that. Never mind. I'm not really using it. I'm just trying to get the codec call. When you're using the. Oh, come on. You're on us. In addition to a. Gavin, yeah, you have to like choose a certain thing at the end of the fight or In something. Can't remember exactly. So it depends on which one you choose or something. The camo index. Oh come on! So you've got your uniform and your face paint, but that alone. Dang it! Oh that. Uh, chaff grenade, smoke grenade, and the Patriot. Um, that's a weird grenade you got there. From what I can tell, it's an anti-electronics weapon that works by scattering a bunch of metal foil in the air to interfere with radio signals. Call it a chaff grenade, if you will. By using a chaff grenade, you can disrupt the function of enemy radios and electronic devices for a short period of time. But keep in mind that as long as the chaff is in effect, you won't be able to use your motion detector or active sonar either. True. How do you... You're pretty good. Cody Gonzo with the $2 donation. Who are the Patriots? Thank you so much. Do you want that to go towards any of those, Cody? 
<laughs> Thank you. Donation half to Cody, man. Thank you, buddy. Chaff grenade. Yeah, Abigail, you were getting messed up with those yesterday, weren't you? It's your, it's your third favorite, Raul. That's fine. Two's your favorite, I think, Thinking of right? using a smoke grenade, huh? As you might expect... Hey, Darius. How's it going, buddy? Thank you for being screen. here. The combustion agent is a mixture of zinc oxide, ammonium chloride, aluminum, and some other stuff. And some other stuff. When it explodes, it releases a thick cloud of grayish-white smoke that resists dispersion. That should provide some nice cover. The smoke will confuse the enemy by blocking their field of vision. That'll help you out when you're trying to make a quick getaway. It also works the other way around. You can use it as cover to sneak up on an enemy position. Thank you, Cody. Donation app again. What do you want it to go well towards? You're being chased by dogs, too. Do you want it to go towards? Do you want it to go towards the end fight, man? The fight, just a regular fight for him to to kill him early, which would be a death, but oh well. Or um, old age. Which one? There she. Yeah, that's a green screen. Let me know. Thanks again, Cody. Appreciate you, bud. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have a green screen. Keep in mind. I do. This is funny. Smith, it's not your call. Using the Patriot, huh? Yeah, it's the same one the boss was using. Where'd you get it? Hmm? I said, where'd you get it? Sigint, don't get worked up over details. What? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, the Patriot is a one-of-a-kind sidearm made especially for the boss. It's basically an XM16E1 so with the barrel cut short and the stock ticking off. The idea was to create a large pistol that combined the feel and quick handling of a handgun with the force of a rifle. But with a barrel that short, the recoil is unbelievable. It's tough to aim, but it more than makes up for it in firepower. From the looks of it, it's fitted with a 100-round drum magazine. And it never runs out of ammo? Never. Why is that? Because the internal feed mechanism is shaped like an infinity symbol. Ah, I get it. Yep, that'll give you unlimited ammo. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work. The there is, yes, I located have. in the top right corner of the screen tells you. All right, so you want that to go toward? I'm gonna say that's. He said to hold him up, so I had to fight him to do that. So that's what we'll put it toward. Cody Gonzo. So 8574 is what it is now to fight. Have you ever traveled abroad? Another? Yes, I have. I've gone to Italy. In Jamaica. Cody, I will do that. I already have the camo, though, so it didn't really matter. You can be used to. Assume you're not making any sense, brother. Squares what is a mountain ninja? camo that's basically... But yeah, that means I have to fight him, though. <laughs> All right. That area is home to the Sunda Whistling Thrush. The Sunda Whistling... Yeah, we already talked about that. I know I bet I think it's do I have a, I have PS3 and PS4. Yeah, Darius, I have both. I have both. Did y'all time him out, please? No, you can time him out. Thank you. Hey DJ, you missed everything, dude. Where have you been? Actually, I'm gonna need the stun grenade.
Dodie on the on the on the prowl. All right. Try and get all this stuff done. So when we do the late, because I'm on, I'm doing two two streams today. One now, one later this evening. I'm trying to get all this kind of stuff out of the way. They're pretty funny. Dodie, I'm looking for you, man. <laughs> Heck yeah, Miss Murder. Heck yeah. Ah, you're wearing the chocolate chip pattern. Yeah. Chocolate chip? You mean this camouflage? Yeah. I've never heard of a camo pattern called that before. Yeah, I know. I just thought it up right now. The chocolate chip pattern is probably designed to provide cover in a desert environment. It should work best against a sandy or rocky background. See you, Sam. Makes Appreciate sense, you being here. Why'd you call it chocolate chip? Cause that's what it reminds me of. What? Those little round cookies the Major's always snacking on? They're not cookies, they're scones. <laughs> Major! And it's not a snack, it's afternoon tea. Snack? Tea? Same thing? No, it's not. <laughs> Look here, afternoon tea is a fine old English tradition. Thank you, perfect. Uh-oh, here we go again. Talk to you later, Snake. The origins of afternoon tea go back to the Victorian era. Anna Maria, <laughs> the seventh Duchess of Bedford, I bet a lot of y'all have never heard that. So funny. I love it. We talked about Splitter. Here's Raindrop. We ain't doing that way. It's afternoon tea. Wearing Raindrop pattern camo, huh? Have a go, me too. Raindrop was used by Germany during World War II. Even now, it's still used a lot in Eastern Europe. So good. Some of the best codecs. It's codex. designed to be especially inconspicuous in the rain. So you'll get the most out of it if you put it on during a downpour. Okay. Did water already. Black snow. You already did that. Oh yeah, tuxedo. Oh yeah. DJ, me too. Thank you, Cody. Snake, what are you wearing now? A uh, tuxedo? What, you late for a wedding or something? <laughs> Come to think about it, the tuxedo is an all-black outfit. It'll probably help you blend in in a dark environment. One thing you can't do, though, is equip knife-type weapons. And you can't use CQC either. Remember that. Snake, there are rats. I can't remember if they say something about it. Snake, whatever happens to you, make sure you this leave is a, a good descendant, one. okay? Are you saying you want to have my baby? <laughs> no. I'm saying that in the 21st century, the genes of soldiers like you are going to be in high demand. Hey, Wade. Genes. Uh-huh. Remember when Watson and Crick discovered the double helix structure of DNA back in 1953? Ah. Uh, no. You know, they won the Nobel Prize in medicine for it the year before last? Of course, you have to feel sorry for Pauling and Franklin. They were researching the exact same thing. Sorry, I don't follow. Inside every living creature are little blueprints called genes. Through the union of the sperm and egg cells, these blueprints are transformed and inherited by the next generation. That's why parents and children resemble each other. The concept of genes was first proposed okay, over 100 years ago by Mendel, but he didn't know what they were exactly. Panem. For a Sounds while, good. it was thought that chromosomes were composed not of deoxyribonucleic acid, but of proteins called polypeptides. Later, it was shown that deoxyribonucleic acid, or mm -hmm. Q -dog, DNA, it's him. was a biological macromolecule. Then 11 years ago, Watson and Crick discovered that DNA had a double helix structure. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? The inherent characteristics of any given individual are determined by his or her genes. By duplicating a set of superior genes, a separate body with the same set of characteristics, a clone, can be created. But genes don't control a person's fate. That's true. But having an offspring that's genetically identical to the parent is more efficient, right? You can expect better results that <laughs> way. More efficient? You can't mass-produce human beings. 
Maybe. But now that we know the true nature of genes, human cloning is that much closer to reality. Nuclear transplanting is already theoretically possible. So one day... My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. Exactly. DJ Stairway, thank you, buddy. Never let that Fellow Arkansan. Just think. Appreciate the retweet, bud. Dies, you survive and go on to bigger and better accomplishments. If you think about it, it's kind of an honor. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to you? Well, I am a doctor. Hmm. I can't condone it on moral grounds, but I'm fascinated by the possibilities. Especially when I see such an excellent specimen as yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Don't be so glum. It's not like it's going to happen anytime soon. How are you doing, Darren? We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Snake, there are... Okay, that's funny. Of course, that's definitely a hit to, you know, Metal Gear Solid, where they're using Big Boss's body and using his genes. So it's definitely throw out, throw back to that. Finish with your last patient. You're in the medical field. Sweet, me too. I'm a physical therapist. Phantom pain. What? What? What do you do? Catch your breath, bro. That's good to see you, buddy. I was faster. I was. Physician's assistant. Sweet. Nice. No, physician's assistant. I know what that means. Nice. Awesome. Snake, what's that camouflage? It's called Hornet Stripe. I got it from the pain. No kidding. Sounds like a pretty unique I'll design. I'll wait for those. From I should I should have I did this too early. The power of hornets. The power of hornets? Sure. When you're wearing that outfit, hornets won't attack you. Neither will spiders or leeches. You might even be able to tame the ones that come flying out of a hive. Interesting. Oops. Keep putting the wrong button. The other ones that are just different. Um, get that from Vulgan. Do I massage people? It's not really the focus, but it's in our toolbox, yes. Another mailbox. In school for eight years, yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, I know what I know what a physical. I know what a physician's assistant is. Phantom pain. Yeah, you went to school for eight years. Yeah, I went. To, so what it is for me because I have a doctor of physical therapy degree, and it's you get your bachelor's degree, then it's three years all year round, and then that's what you get. Oh, okay, got you. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. And then I also got my PhD in physical therapy. It took me another three years. So I was in college from 2007 to 2000. Yeah, and then I got my PhD this last fall. So I was in college for 10 years to get all the stuff I wanted to do. So There you go, Darren. Yeah, good. I was like, what? I was like, I know what it is. <laughs> like, I know what a PA is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, and the reason why I do it, Phantom Pain, it's not like, oh, yeah, I've got a PhD. It's just because the reason why I got it is because I do want to, uh, it allows me and gives, opens the doors for me to teach in the field. So, and I like teaching. Um, I really do enjoy teaching. So it's something that gives whenever I, you know, get older and stuff. And to do research as well. So in the field. So and my wife's a my wife is a registered nurse too, Phantom Pain, so yeah. Yeah, the camouflage, the chocolate chip looks pretty tasty, right? Snake, what is that stuff you're wearing? I don't know. It's called Cute Gaga dog, Camo, right? whatever that means. What? Paramedic? 
You've never heard of God? Abigail, yeah. Nope. Never. You must live in a cave or something. Well, excuse me. By the way, Snake, that outfit is really killing your camo index. Unless you want the enemy to see you, I suggest you change your clothes as... Why? Why? Because his camo index is... Camo index shmamo index. Uh, hold on now. He's wearing the Gakko suit. Why? Because it looks cute. <laughs> Snake, talk some sense into her. What's wrong with being cute? <laughs> Am I the only normal person around here? Oh yeah, Phantom Pain, and like, yeah, dude, I just really love doing this, too. It's kind of like a side thing, but I really, no matter what I do, Phantom Pain, I just put 100% into everything, so. And the only reason why I do this probably is because my wife is able to work at night, so that's usually when I stream, but I'm off today. I got today off, but I work tomorrow, so that's why I'm streaming right now. Um, so yeah, I got that, work, married, have a baby on the way in about a month, <laughs> But my wife is very supportive, so I appreciate her. She's awesome. Let's see, what are the uniforms? Hey, anime. Echo. Hey, Rana. And I'm paying, I know I'm crazy, dude. I'm freaking crazy. Keep in mind that every weapon and piece of equipment weighs something. The heavier the equipment you're lugging around, but the faster you'll this. burn up stamina. You can and see how much your equipment weighs therapist. by going into the backpack screen of the survival doubty. viewer. Hey, Antonio. Keep in mind. In addition. You're not going to talk to me about this one? The chocolate chip. Snake. Why don't you try the- Oh, come on. Didn't that work? Should I have to fly? See, I got the flies all around me. <laughs> Abigail, it does smell tasty. And yeah, the phantom paint in my left nut, I know. That screen name is so funny. The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. Keep in mind that every weapon and piece of equipment weighs something. The heavier the equipment you're lugging around, the faster you're going to stamina. That's awesome, Phantom Pain. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Your equipment weighs by going that really is back. awesome. Pattern. Uh, I guess you're not going to talk about it. Damn it. I don't think he talks about any of these because those are kind of like extra. Let's see if he does. If not, then we'll, we're pretty much done with all these codecs that we can do so far right now. Come on. Hey, where does it go? In my butt. Desert is a brown color. Leaf pattern. Yeah, I didn't talk about him. All right, good night, dude. We still got to do the naked one. If he talks about that one. I'm good, Assassin. How are you doing? Smells pretty tasty. Snake, what's that face paint you're wearing? Kabuki. Kabuki. Kabuki? <laughs> right. It's used in traditional Japanese theater. Apparently, it gives whoever's wearing it some kind of mystical Kabuki. power. Get out of here. That's what I heard. From who? Paramedic. Figures. Well, whatever it does, it doesn't make for very good camouflage. Really? Yeah. You should switch to another kind of paint. But I was just starting to like it. Oh, beautiful. Kabuki. To take a rest, I'll... Yeah, Phantom Pain, I know, right? Kabuki. Yeah, that, uh, that screen name is the best, Phantom Pain. So freaking good. Kabooty. <laughs> I'm trying to get this stuff out of the way. They're funny, but I want to get more gameplay when we have the stream more. Because we're in a two-part stream today. 
to hurt people. I mean, Q Dog, I kind of. I mean, I do know if I really wanted to, the main arteries I could use to really make you bleed out, but I'm not going to do that <laughs> unless if I had to. So, I mean, I guess I could. And how well to dislocate something if I really had to. Not saying I'd be good at it. I'm not really a fighter, but I know how to kind of do it. <laughs> Someone was asking me with my vast knowledge of the human body, but I, could I use that to use that knowledge to hurt people? So, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I would. If I absolutely had to. Snake, your face pain is... I know. It's called zombie. Perspective, zombie. I got it. What does that mean? Beats me. Are you serious? Perspective. Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? Nope. Never. You guys don't know anything. A zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. Damn, Phantom Pain. <laughs> it's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to lay them even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Dead. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. Missed it. You can't just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. Doesn't it? Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. <laughs> Found this stream right after he had passed. What passed? You talking about this stream or OHNs? Phantom Pain. Oops. So you've got. Hey, game soccer. What's up? Uh, your side debuffer. What happened? Oh, dang it! No. Tree bark is a forest pattern created primarily for use by hunters. It'll give you an exceptionally. Yeah, yeah. Almost there. Oop, wrong one. Ooh, yeah, here we go. That look pretty. Snake, what's with that face paint? It's called Oyama. Oyama? Yo mama? Yeah, it's the name of an androgynous Japanese deity. Are you serious? That's what I heard. From paramedic. From paramedic. Never mind. In any case, that face <laughs> paint mind. doesn't seem to work very well. Your camo index is way down. Unless you want the enemy to see you, I change to something else. Oh. oh. Okay. Let me guess. You were just getting to like it. It kind of grew on me. Fine. Get yourself shot. How's this, Phantom Pain? A dud. There you go. That's for you. A dud. <laughs> a dud. Yes, Gavin, I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought she, I thought that's what Q Dog. That's what I thought he was saying too. That he needed a new good dud in his life. Talking about a girlfriend. That's what I thought too. I didn't know that. Snake dresser. That's right. That's what I thought too. There you go, Phantom Pain. Just for you. Ah, you're wearing the mask. Yeah. I made it myself. Pretty good work, don't you think? A while back, they were planning to disguise someone as this one Gru officer and send them in to steal some secret documents. I created Revolver. the mask for that operation. But then the mission ended up being canceled. And then the Major came and told me to throw it out. Can you believe that guy? But you didn't throw it out. Are you kidding? Tossing a superior quality product like that into the garbage without using it will be an insult to science. So I decided to sneak it into your gear. Okay, but is it really that big of a deal? Of course it is. 
What's so great about it? Everything. But if I had to pick one reason, I'd have to say it's because it's the first mask ever that can blink its eyes. What about the lips? What's that? Can it open its mouth? <laughs> That's a good one, Snake. <laughs> you crazy, man. I'm serious. Are you even listening to me, Snake? Where's your common sense? Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Infinity and infinite ammo. Welcome back, Q Dog. Your field uniform. When you fire, continue. When you fire, it is a creepy mask. All right, we're done except for the naked one. We are going to have a great time with this camo. <clears throat> Actually. This is going to be awesome. That ear. Okay. I'm just making sure. Why don't you try the... Okay. Yeah, this is great. Get ready. Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under Why uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you Revolver, want. I did. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? Say what? <laughs> my pants, can I? Oh, hell no. This fox unit is a nut fest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that part. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> he goes, a steak, a what's up? A steak. What's up? Why you naked? Why you naked, Snake? Why you naked? Snake, what's up? <laughs> Major. I'm gonna see if I can sound like Snake. Major, is there a way I can take off my pants? Major, Sigint, can I take off my pants? Thank you. Ahead of time. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I know, Sigint has some good ones. Yes, he said net fast. He did. He did. All right, here we go. Metal Gear. Metal. Gavin, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Oh, hell no. AK-47. Box one's a good one. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, Gavin. Oh, hell no. That would be funny. All right, Jake. You're good, man. Don't need to apologize, bro. You're good. Got yourself an AK-47, huh? Yeah. The AK-47 is the official assault official. rifle of the Soviet Army. The first model was completed in 1946, and in 49, it beat out all its competitors to become the standard assault rifle of the Soviet military. 
Where we at? It uses 7.62 millimeter by 39 rounds developed in 1943 and a 30-round box magazine originally designed for a different assault rifle. You can aim it from the shoulder by equipping it in first-person view and holding down the aim button. It's sturdy and extremely reliable with high power and precision. There's no better assault rifle in the world. In the world. My box, bro. Snake, if you step in any water or mud, your feet will get wet. If you walk like that, you'll leave footprints behind and the enemy may follow them straight to you. Try to avoid walking through any water or mud as much as possible. However, if your feet do get wet, just crawl to avoid leaving any footprints behind. Okay. When you don't want anybody following your trail, make sure to crawl. Why don't you try the... Burns happen when you're engulfed. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh-huh. Does any of that make hey, sense? Hey, Sean. Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. <laughs> Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with a major strange? <coughs> yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Sean, it's going good. How about you, buddy? <sighs> it's going good, my dude. Oh God! What a name, Hillary. I'm just gonna say Hillary. I'm gonna call you HT. What's up, HT? Hey, snappers. What's up? Let's see. What's going on, HT? <laughs> yeah. I have either I had the stun, the mic, that'd be good. Okay, sweet, got the thermals. What am I doing? HD, I don't care. Just, I don't, it doesn't bother me. As long as you don't get political on the channel, I don't care. I just think it's, it's an interesting name. Hey, Major Zero. Hello, friend. How are you? Wade Master, I have. I played it before. Cameron Steiger, what's up, man? Hey, what's that you've got there? Thermal goggles. From what I can tell, they detect and display sources of heat. All there is. You're okay. kidding me. They actually made a passive infrared night vision device small enough to carry around with you? What, is that special or something? Is it special? Here in the West, we've just barely got the technology to install it on aircraft. So that's what that thing is they put on the gunship. <sighs> But doesn't the army have something like that for driving vehicles at night? I thought I saw... You mean the ANPAS-5? That's an active infrared night vision device. It fires infrared beams from an infrared projector and uses the reflections to build an image. 
those goggles you've got there are completely different. Basically, when you've got those equipped, you'll be able to spot enemy soldiers in the jungle with ease, even if they're camouflaged. They might even help you find traps. Ah, but you won't be able to see the terrain as well, so watch your step. <laughs> All right, hold on. I don't need these maps. What time is it? It is 4.56. 4.46. I am like milking this game like crazy. Miss Murder, I am. I got a lot of sleep last night. Just focusing. It's 4.46 p.m. here. Hillary <laughs> Trump. <laughs> The Republicans and Democrats are one now. Hillary Trump, thanks for the follow or the sub and thanks for subscribing. Remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and I'm doing this right now, Miss Merch, because my, my contact was messing up. What am I doing? What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, the mask. And call paramedic. I'll have to confer with the CEO again. That's right. And socialist. And libertarian. <laughs> Snake guy. Huh? <laughs> Uh, hello there? Hey. Paramedic, it's me. me. Snake? Oh, it's you. For a minute there, I thought you were someone else. Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Yeah, but it looks so cool. Huh? Cool. You know, kind of like a Venusian. A Venusian? I mean, not the crab kind, the other kind. Paramedic. Do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? I know it sounds ridiculous, but still. What if it was a being from another planet? You can't rule out that possibility. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Abigail, right? Adam won't show up if you're being pursued by the enemy. Before you go to rendezvous with Adam, make sure you haven't been seen by the enemy. Meet up with him in normal phase. Normal Got phase. It? Adam won't show up if you're being pursued by the yeah, enemy. I'm glad you like the James Bond. Before you go too. to rendezvous. Okay, 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 okay. All right. We've actually done all the codex I think we can do pretty much. All right. Here we go. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Is 
This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. <laughs> Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this, too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight.
Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing hey, hey, more. killer. Done. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Aww. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Get more kills, that's right. This will save it, and we'll save it again after. I'm not really worried about this number of saves right now. Gosh, what, the Metal Gear Solid 2 takes like no time, but this one does. I do not understand it. Right, Sean. Gosh, I know. Hello. Because it's older. That's what it is, Sean. You're right. That's it. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. Try. <laughs> to get to the basement. Damn it! I'll 
this a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Meow. Don't go dying on me now. Dilly dilly. Do something real quick. You going to save? Yep. Peter, I'm awesome, man. How are you doing? Hey, Killer23, I don't know if you're still here, but good to have you here, buddy. Sean. Yeah, when Microsoft 4 takes place, Sean, she's dead. Ray Fox killed her. Because that's that this Dr. Clark is not Naomi Clark, Sean. Different person. Good luck. Thanks. This is not Naomi. Not the same person. Okay, okay, I thought you were saying that this was the same person. Because Dr. Clark is dead in Megrasod 4. It appears you've been completely surrounded. Yeah, so I gathered. If Eva is to escape from there... Right. I'll have to take them all out. Snake, you must defeat all the ocelots. That's the only way to ensure Eva's safe escape, as well as your own. But you're up against a lot of them. Don't try to take them head on. Approach them without being seen and dispatch them one by one. And don't forget to use your camouflage. Paul, thank you so much for the follow and thanks for following. And remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Thank you. Snake, they're conducting a sweep of the inside of the factory. Sooner or later, they'll come to your room. If you're just standing there doing nothing, they'll find you and they will kill you. Get out of that room quickly. Use the trapdoor that Eva showed you. Snake, don't try to engage the ocelots head on. There are too many of them. If they surround you, you'll be finished. Use your camouflage to approach them without being seen and take them out one by one. If you don't camouflage yourself properly, you run the risk of being spotted and attacked by snipers or other faraway enemies. Don't forget to use the camouflage screen in the survival viewer to disguise yourself. Always maintain a high camo index. Snake, enemy soldiers who move in file pose a serious threat. Try to take them out one at a time, starting with the one at the back. Snake, there were drums filled with fuel in the factory. If you shoot a bullet into one of those drums, the resulting explosion should send any nearby enemies flying. Use them to your advantage. Snake, there's no telling where the enemy might be hiding. Be sure to check the ceilings and the bushes. Don't let your guard down even for an instant. Eva needs you to distract the enemies until she can escape on her motorcycle. She's probably out there somewhere waiting for her chance. Don't worry about her. Focus on defeating the enemy. Understood? Snake, it appears they've got snipers in place. Uh-oh. Snipers are excellent shots. If they hit you, you're likely to be wounded. Find the snipers and neutralize them before they can shoot you. Got if it. If you do get shot at, take cover behind something. Understood? Actually, that won't matter because it'll be a game Snake, over. there's no telling where the enemy... When you have a serious injury, like a gun... Those rifles the Ocelots are using aren't AK-47s, are they? No. They kind of look like AKMs, but they're different. Different how? They've got steel handguards and vertical-type foregrips, and the muzzle suppressor is bigger. 
A carbine version of the AKM, huh? Hungary has a unique modified version of the AKM called the AMD-63. I heard something before about them making a prototype carbine version of that. My guess is they probably imported some of those prototypes. If they're using a carbine version of the AMD-63 like I'm thinking, then they could be a serious threat. Those things handle better than the AK-47s, especially at close range. And don't forget, the ocelots are elites. They're gonna be better shots than normal Spetsnaz, and you're that much more likely to get seriously hurt. Keep your eyes open. Heads up, Snake. Looks like some of those guys are equipped with M63s. The M63 is an American-made light machine gun. It's got more firepower than you might think. It can punch through a wall, too, so watch out. Are you? You said some of them are using shotguns? Those shotguns are M37s. They're an American model designed for field combat. Not all that dangerous from a distance, but at close range, they'll tear you to shreds. Be careful. Looks like some of them are using scorpions. Dang, so many different the weapons. The scorpion is a Czechoslovakian submachine gun. They don't have the stopping power of a rifle, but they're easier to handle and lethal at a medium range. If you eat more than a couple of rounds, it's not gonna be pretty. Don't fool around. Snake, watch out for those grenades they're tossing. You'll be injured pretty bad if you get caught in the blast. You could get burned too. If somebody throws a grenade at you, get away from it and hit the deck. Snake, if you fire that thing without a suppressor attached, the bang and the muzzle flash will give your position away to the enemy. Attach a suppressor and you won't have Jihad to worry right. about all that. To attach a suppressor, open the weapon window and press the circle button. The circle button. Snake, they're using stun grenades. Watch out! It says enter. Stun grenades? Yeah. It's a new weapon they invented themselves. It uses an intense blast of light and sound to knock out the enemy temporarily. If you're looking at the light from one of those things when it goes off, you can kiss your optics goodbye. If one gets tossed your way, turn around quick. Snake, they're using stun grenades. Watch out! If you're looking at the... Heads up, Snake. Looks like some of those guys are equipped with Peter, M63s. what are you talking about? The M60... Okay. Okay. Let's get my Mark 22. Stun grenade already. And... That'll work. John, that's right. Chavez? I don't know who that is. Chavez is, huh? I know, it's so good.
Gavin is just funny. Special powers, it was just, it's just silly. Got him. One more to go. Gavin, it's just silly. Thank you, Peter. Sean, there you go. This matter that would work about right, yeah. That's a wrap, mother's food. Thank you, Glenn. Tray Station, that's a cool name. Tray Station. Instead of PlayStation, that's a great cool name. Thank you so much for the sub and thanks for subscribing. And remember, man, you only get one life to live, baby. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. And Peter, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mind detector. Let's let me get some stuff from these other dudes. Of course, Trey. That's a cool name, dude. I really enjoy that name, Trey Station. Cool pun. That's a cool. I'm a. I love puns. That's pretty punny. When's my break? Probably in about 15, 20 minutes. So, guys, if you're new to the stream, I'm probably gonna take a break in about 20, 15, 20 minutes, and come back around 7:15, 7, 7:30. Tonight, because I'm gonna be spending some time with my wife before she goes to work, and just to rest my eyes a little bit. Dang it! 
Boom. It was cool. been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that but the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. <laughs> Got him! We'll see. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. <laughs> you have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. He calls a time paradox. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, that right there, that's why. Eva Knievel. <laughs> I see you've got yourself a ration. Yeah. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. Hey. You should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. Trey, what you got? What's your question? It looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Yeah. Yeah. Now proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. According to Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and... Can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? Thanks for the follow on Twitter, by the way, Trey. Me. Thanks. There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake. Only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. <laughs> Trey. Ah. Uh, I mean, Sean. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. 
It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defences. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Consistency is key, of course. How do you build an audience? Okay, here's how I do it, Trey. Um, me being on the camera and, you know, and actually having a mic, is, I think, is key. The mic is key. You don't have to be on the screen. But I think having a voice and talking to people in the chat is huge. And know kind of what you want in your chat. So there's certain things that I know that I do not tolerate. So I build my rules and stuff about that. And those that are become regular newcomers, I make I kind of make them my moderators. For certain, that, that's something that I choose myself. And and that and only that helps you to form the chat that you want. So to keep it from being toxic. Yeah, Sean. So playing stuff that you really like as well. So Metal Gear Solid, I love the series. So that's kind of what I built it on. Um, that's how I build my audience. So I don't know if that helps, but and another thing that I like to do while I'm playing the games is kind of talk about what I'm thinking, um, and maybe give some tidbits or you know, kind of what I'm thinking of while I'm playing the game, and being sure whenever someone talks on stream to talk to them and. Not just say, hey, thanks for being here, but can I ask them about their lives? Like, like for instance, Trey, you know, your name. I was talking about your name and really liked your name and thought that was pretty cool. Like puns, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, other things that I'll do, like I'll ask, like, what's going on in your life? Where are you from? If, you, if you're comfortable talking about that stuff, just getting to know people. Like, let's say I know Sean's coming in here and uh, he hasn't been here very, very long, actually, but... Uh, I know that he loves Metal Gear, and uh, I know that uh, there's a, actually Sean. There's a lot I don't know about you, but there's other people that are newcomers or people that have been here a long time. Like I know Craig is from the UK and loves all different types of things, and um, Natalia is from New York, and uh, Metal Gear Solid Four is her favorite game. I mean, just little things like that, just to really get to know who comes in and ask them like. And really listen. Peter, I know who you are. That's about all I know. It's okay. Hey, Cossack. And there's a lot of other people that I don't know. Sean, your job. I forgot, though. Because I don't remember. Give me a hint. I forgot. I forgot. Help me out. Give me a hint. Natalia was from Russia, but she lives in New York now. Sean, you're not a physical therapist, are you? Well, shit. <laughs> well, at least you in, admit, in admitting your faults. That's another one. <laughs> Speech therapist. Speech therapist, right? Is that right? <laughs> Occupational therapist. <laughs> Occupational. <laughs> Dana. Is it occupational? Well, Sean, I guess I don't know you that well. I'm sorry. Personal assistant. That's right. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Personal assistant. Oh, yeah, you help with that. Dude, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. I suck. I might as well just quit right now. You try, you did. <laughs> I love it, though. And being willing to stop the game and talk to people is good. Yeah, Love Daddy sucks. Gosh, I hate that dude. Hey, artwork. I'm so sorry. John, I'm just... I See, I can't remember everything. I'm sorry. I try the best I can, though. I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Perspective. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, Love Daddy sucks. Snake, your number one priority in this mission is rescuing Sokolov. <laughs> Eva said he is in the lab, so head over there. Right. Do you remember how to get to the lab? You mean what Eva told me? Yes. Of course I do. All right, repeat it for me. Major, do you think I'd forget something like that? Let's hear it then. First I head north. Mm hmm? And then I'll come to a crevice. And then? And then... Trey, sure. If you want to. Uh, All right, let's go over this one more time. First, head north through the jungle. Enter the cave through the crevice to the north. Trey, if you want Follow to, you're more than welcome to. What's up with you, come out in an aqueduct surrounded by a mangrove. Follow the aqueduct to the north and you should arrive at a warehouse. Climb out of the water and enter the warehouse. 21 from London. After Another UK person. Warehouse, nice. Pass through it to the, the wizard north. Kojima. Then you'll emerge in the woods again. AKA the Craig. Will be directly to the north. Are we clear now? Yeah. Snake. I got it. I got it. You're Basically, from Florida. Cool. 29. Right. You writer and an author. That is cool, dude. From Florida. I've been there a few times. I'm from Arkansas, Trey. <sighs> That's nice, dude. I won't forget your name if it's in, since it's in the name. And I'm 30. I'll be 31 in December. So we're close to the same age, too. Eva was right when she said that operating in an unknown jungle at night is extremely dangerous. In my former outfit, the SAS, we'd always be sure to set up camp before sunset and wait until Imagine. daybreak before setting out again. Being able to stay in that abandoned factory made things a lot easier for you. You ought to be thanking, Eva. Yeah, Trey, ASL. Does that mean anything to you? ASL. Hey, ASL. Does that, does that mean anything to you? <laughs> Ooh, Trey, nice. Let's know how that goes. Major, what's this temptation Eva was talking about? In the Old Testament of the Bible, Eve was seduced by a snake into tasting the fruit of knowledge. By eating the forbidden fruit, Adam and Eve disobeyed God's command and were cast out from the Garden of Eden. Thus, it was the snake mm -hmm. who led mankind into location. original sin. Come to think of it, I did like, Ooh, really you're male? Let me go talk to someone else. I need a female. Maybe that's where Eva came from. <laughs> But the one who tempted Adam into eating so what do you look fruit like? was Eve. You may be working together, but she's still a KGB operative. Don't let your guard down. I don't intend to. Snake, I heard you got a scientist disguise from Eva. I sure did. Yeah. Go to uniform on the camouflage screen and choose scientist to disguise yourself as a scientist. Scientist, huh? But it won't do you any good to go around the jungle wearing a scientist disguise. No religion, disguise. Colonel. <laughs> No one would be that stupid. You're right. No one would think of going around the jungle in a scientist's disguise. If they did, they'd have to be a fool. Oh, oh, more than a fool. A complete dumbass. Maybe, Sean. Don't you think so, Snake? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Equip food as a weapon and press the weapon button to throw the food. If you throw a live animal near an enemy, you may be able to distract him. If an enemy is really hungry... He That's may cool, pounce Trey. at the prospect of food. You have minimal gear on this mission, and you have to make the most use out of anything you can procure on the ground. Snake, the Mark 22 is a tranquilizer gun. Use it to put enemies to sleep well, without duh. harming them. The speed with which the tranquilizer takes effect depends on the point of impact on the Shoot enemy. Shoot him in the nuts. If a target is hit on the arm or leg, the tranquilizer I need to get, need to get off here after we finish these. The target hit on the head. No, do you did? Like Sorry, bud. If you want to take an enemy out in a flash, aim for the head. No way. Snake, let me explain the enemy's ver. Yeah, who cares? After you've grabbed an. That area. Snake, there are. That. Hey, Snake. Remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. John, that I've might never help heard a little of a bit, customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? Yeah. That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. 
That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. Baby. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah. yeah. What about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally, that's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close-range mop-up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. You know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? That's a replica say, of a guys. German Please model. be patient with me. A replica? Yeah. After World War II, the Soviets confiscated an entire assembly line from a German motorcycle factory. Machines and all. And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? Yeah. Exactly. Originally, that motorcycle was designed to be used with a sidecar attached. That means it's got enough power to drag a 200-plus pound sidecar around. So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Uh-huh. Of course, it takes a lot of skill to be able to control that much power. That Eva chick is something else. Yeah. The Mark 22 is a tranquilizer gun. You can use it to take enemies down without hurting them. I know. The thing is, the amount of time it takes for the tranquilizer to work depends on which part of the body the dart hits. If you need to drop an enemy in one shot, aim it's for intel, the head. not titty jewels. The Mark 22 can also be equipped with a suppressor. With a suppressor equipped, you won't need to worry about anybody hearing the shot. But the suppressor will deteriorate. Cool, Trey. That's awesome, man. Fight. GG, dude. The durability of your suppressor is displayed on the weapon icon whenever the suppressor is equipped. Be sure to keep an eye on it. A suppressor can be unequipped mm -hmm. Metal by Gear pressing 2? the yep, button it really while the is. weapon window is open. It's a good idea to take the suppressor off a gun when you don't need it. Trey, you're right about that. Metal Gear Sol Some people would even argue Metal Gear Solid is just a 3D version of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. It's a really good game. In addition to AKs, some of your field you tree bark is a forest pattern created primarily for use by hunter. Whenever you find, but the suppressor will deteriorate. Yeah. Okay, all right. Another perspective that doesn't work here. What I'm trying to tell you is called intel. Not titty jewels. <laughs> okay, let's save it and then let's do a. And I'm gonna be back. You want to save? Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, take a little break and let's do a raid to Big Boss Incarnate. Show him some love. <sighs> I haven't raided him in a long time. His name is Big Boss Incarnate. Pretty awesome dude. Let's go show him some love after we save this. And then I will be back around 7.15, 7.30 Central Standard Time. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> exactly. Gavin is from another stream. Uh, have a good See ya, dude. Appreciate it. It'll be about an, another... I'll be coming live again in about another couple of hours. I need to take a break. How many hours? It'll be about two hours. Snake, have you seen Earth? Gotta listen versus to this first, spider? though. Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? I told you, it suddenly mutated. Yeah, right. Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Two Always hours. nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Let's play some Honestly, RE7 why even Pro Madhouse difficulty. Look, the important thing isn't that I it know. got big. Then what is important? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Okay, Dodie. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Let's speaking of Metal Gear Two. Um, Trey, take a listen. All right, so let's go do a raid right here. Here's big bosses. Uh, channel, be sure to go to that and then type in hashtag Pudge Raid. Isn't that awesome? So good, isn't it? Trey, you came to the right place, my brother. So be sure to type that in his chat. Show him some love. Awesome dude. I went ahead and started it. Go to that, click, like I said, click on that link. Type in Pudge Raid. You can go on there. Show him some love. Be sure to like and subscribe to him if you haven't yet, guys. Dodie, thank you. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Sean, for going in. Mariano, thank you. Looks like he's fighting uh, the spider lady right now. Kadeo Kojima, Craig, thank you. Gavin, thank you, dude. Anyone else that goes in there, thank you so much for rating him. And I hope you have a good rest of y'all's evening. I'll be back in a couple hours. Probably about an hour and 45 minutes, a couple hours. And we'll be back with more Metal Gear Solid 3. But until then, guys, this is Pudge 7 saying off. Thank you so much for the subs, and I will see y'all then. Have a good night, guys. See you in a little bit. Trey, thanks for rating him, by the way. See you guys. And Miss Murder, thank you. All right, see ya.